he couldn't see where they went or what they were after. It was a gray muggy day with some rain. A light wind was blowing. Pete saw the girl next door take off her clothes last night and walk through her house nude. She went into a back room and Pete waited for her to come out, but she never did. Pete saw two children of the earth come out of the ground after that. A cat killed one of them and played with the other until one of its legs came off. The moon was half full. Someone was in Pete's yard last night. Pete heard the person walk past his window and into the bushes, then out of the yard again. Pete couldn't see them because the lights were on in his house. At the diner, he heard a man say that the doctors had cut him down his neck and into his chest. They lifted his flesh away and parted his ribs and scraped his arteries. A gray man with big ears lit a big cigar. The smoke drifted over Pete's apple pie. The men at the other table were very pale and were drinking Bloody Marys. Nothing is moving in Pete's backyard. He hears distant traffic and the electric clock is grinding gears near him. Several woodcutters from fiery ships are coming in his door. They are dressed in wool and are opening his drawers and his refrigerator. One of them runs his hand up and down Pete's walls, stopping now and then and laughing. They have discovered Pete and have him by the arms and Pete's going with them out under the orange tree. They keep hitting Pete's knees with their smoking pipes. The sun is coming out and a bird hops in the bushes. The woodcutters are digging a hole. Pete is upset about things. His brain is sorting out information gleaned from this confusing life. Things aren't making sense. For instance, why is that boy bleeding from the mouth? Everything is moving except where it is perfectly still. Pete's curtains open and close. Smoke fills his room. Blood shoots from the cracks. The appliances roar. Wind blows things. Hurricanes through his lungs and the roots come out. Woodcutters are everywhere now, moving quickly, loading Pete into their craft. The dogs howl in the night and blood rain fills the streets. Babies float and hit. Stars shoot and burst and blue lightning breaks the rotted gun of heads. Swirls of flying ants are in Pete's room now. Taking his shoes across the room as the fiery ship roars. From the fiery ship he sees the girl now as she falls. The first bump, then the second.
Man is all around me and I look down 
num 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 Thus, in this instance, the sum total of all the fundamental conclusions concerning the altogether misunderstood thoughts attending the equations connecting matters of negative and positive forces and their precarious balance points is absolutely certain to cause changes in the currents of modern thought like the changes in the surface of a lake due to the power of a severe thunderstorm. Lightning is, in fact, a large bolt of balance. And as above, so below. Nom 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 In the far reaches of dimness where light seldom penetrates, the crawling continues and further negotiations were long since aborted. And with this came rain and much gnashing of teeth and torment. In the case, like you, I'm in love. We fly down the streets as if to say Hey, hey, baby This is really love and the neighbors sing Hey, hey, baby Hey, hey, baby You're in love The lawns are green The sky is blue Your lips are red colors, colors in love in our world.